On today's episode of Ninja Mobile Dart, I'm going to talk you through the rear upright. And as before with the front upright, we start with the proprietary hardware. In this case, that's a Nissan N15 Pulsar front wheel flange assembly, which we're using on the back because um, it's got a spline there for a drive shaft to go through. Use the Nissan drive shaft as well. And accompanied with that is a double row angular contact ball race. That's the inner, one of the inner races there that fits on there. The nice thing about using a double row bearing is you don't need to worry about bearing spaces. You can pop that whole assembly into the upright and uh, it's all preloaded and ready to go. Not sure how well you can see that, but that's the drawing that encompasses the, uh, the drive shaft assembly. There's the, the wheel flange and the bearing. Top wishbone goes there, bottom wishbone's underneath, so that's the tow link. Uh, the wishbone with the shock absorber on it goes there, bearing in the middle and top wishbone above. And having done the design work, here are all the bits we need to make our upright. That's the central barrel that takes the bearing. The bearing goes up against that shoulder and circlip retains it. Oil seal goes there, oil seal goes there. And to keep that round while we're welding it, that aluminium plug goes in. When it all gets hot, that's a really tight press fit and stops it distorting while we're welding. So there's, there's the centre of the upright. Um, down the bottom, this here's one we made earlier, a little tube takes a funny looking bolt that seems to go from half inch down to three eighths as it goes along. That's a bit of um, three quarter inch, 1.2 mil wall chromoly tubing. And the top, like the front upright, that little post goes in there and that bit of tube will get welded to it. And that's the top end. And the beginning of the skin for the bottom, a little cardboard template goes like that. And from that we cut out a bit of 1.2 mil chrome molly, 4130 sheet, fold it up and start welding. And there's the finished article all welded up. Little box down the bottom. So the that's the right hand one, right hand upright. So the wishbone with the spring damper goes on there. Toe controls there, bearing in the middle, top wishbone here. All nice and tidy. And for my standards, that's actually got some quite nice welding on it. Good enough for a backyard job anyway. <laughs> 